Let's assume Bank A needs cash quickly and owns a bunch of assets, bonds in our case. Bank B, on the other hand, has excess cash and wants to put it to good use. In such cases, Bank A can engage in a so-called repurchase or repo agreement, which works like this. 1. Bank A, which is called the dealer, gives the bonds it owns to Bank B and agrees to buy them back at a later date, usually very quickly, for example the next day. 2. Bank B gives Bank A the cash it needs. 3. When the time comes, Bank A buys the bonds back from Bank B at a higher price. In other words, Bank A received the cash it needed and Bank B made some money. From the perspective of Bank A, this was a repo. From the perspective of Bank B, which is on the other side of the trade, it was a reverse repo, or buying securities from Bank A with the intention of selling them back to it at a profit later on. From banks, mutual funds, and hedge funds to even central banks, repo transactions are an option for quite a few entities. In many cases, a third-party repo takes place, with a middleman facilitating the transaction between the buyer and seller. Finally, you might have noticed that this kind of sounds like a loan with bonds as collateral. The difference, however, is that when it comes to repo agreements, that collateral actually quote-unquote changes hands each time. Even if temporary, a change of ownership does take place.